today we play Best of One. The only one in Best of One. Not Virginia Taxes. Ta-da! You Orion! This is standard. Beseech the Mirror hasn't quite conquered standard, but we're going to try to make a cool list that does cool things with the mirror, and we've got one for you here today. Hello, it's me, it's CGB. Today in the arena, we're playing a black-white mid-range to control list that does try to take some advantage of Beseech the Mirror and fetch the right card for the right situation to really help us push forward our game plan. But you need a solid game plan, and this deck takes some of what the mono-white tokens deck was trying to do, combines it with some of what the blue black control deck was trying to do that was successful against mono red, namely Gumdrop Poisoner uh, and Sheldred the Apocalypse, of course. And smashing those things together, we get a deck that's absolutely full of value with a pretty cool token related game plan. I really like this Orzov pile, and while the curve looks atrocious, don't be fooled, it's just the adventures being adventurous because virtues fit in the two mana category and the gumdrop poisoner does make a food for one that you can get then sacrifice on turn two to gain some life which gives you time against aggressive strategies such as mono red the rest of the deck is full of sweet one ofs that you can fetch with some of your copies of beseech the mirror but i still don't think running a lot of beseeches is correct two seem to be about the right number and sometimes against decks that can't exile them you want an edgar charmed groom because making those tokens with lifelink is really sweet when you have cards like Wedding Announcement and Virtue of Loyalty making those vampires bigger. But other times you want a Wandering Emperor. Sometimes you want Shelter of the Apocalypse. The end can completely wipe a threat out of the opponent's deck, which makes it a really nice fetch as well. And we've got some sweepers like Path of Peril that is situationally good. And Legion to Ashes can solve just about anything. Liliana can take over a game. My voice can go dry. Excuse me. <laughs> Recording... 10 intros in one day is a lot. And now you know why I made it just one outro that I could throw on every video. Haters. I'm hanging in there, okay? I'm doing my best. Anyway, the primary thing here, a token go wide strategy that slows mono red down, takes over the board, and then uses Beseech to find exactly what we need for the situation we happen to be in. It's kind of a smarty pants deck for a black white mid-range controlly thing and i find it a lot of fun so please if you enjoy the channel do me a few favors number one like and subscribe that's really cool number two leave me a comment tell me how long my intro is unnecessarily that really encourages me i love it then please Please check out the sponsors of this video, CoolStuffInc.com. Use the promo code CGB5 when you shop there. There's always new magic stuff coming out. Get yourself a discount. And Moxfield, which is where my deck lists are, if you go to Moxfield and you follow my profile or even just click on it, you're helping me try to become the most viewed and followed creator on the best deck building site in the world. I'm number two in views. Do you know who's number one? I'll give you a hint. Small indie company. Yeah. Yeah. So check out the deck list. All right. Let's go get it. Let's beseech the perfect card. And for those wondering on my status, how long is this freaking Vegas thing going to last? If I have lined everything up right, which is not a given, if I've timed things correctly, if I have scheduled properly, if I've sent the right instructions to my editor, if I've copied pasted into a spreadsheet with perfect precision, this is it. This is the last day of the why is the video so short kind of outro. This is the last day of pre-recording and I will be in the office ready to decompress and unleash a new hell upon the ladder and torture Mono Red in all kinds of various ways tomorrow. So I look forward to seeing you then. Uh, I, mean, I might even stream. Maybe we'll do a stream for it. We'll see. Let's dive in. Let this particular brand of Orzov nonsense Begin. Incoming transmission. Cool kids, come in, cool kids. You're cool so you can hear this. We don't have much time. Join me at. at, at. Covert Go Blue HQ. Follow the coordinates on your screen to Covert Go Blue HQ. Covert Go Blue HQ is your ultimate destination for everything CGB. Get your play mats. Get your shark tokens and get the first look at all new merchandise that CGB releases. 
There's even more that's on the way. Gear up with the only merch that's 100% certified by the one in best of one. At the coolest place for the cool kids, CoolStuffInc.com. Head to CoolStuffInc.com slash CGB. I'll see you at Covert Go Blue HQ. That's Covert Go Blue HQ. I hate mono red. I hate mono red. Time to beat mono red. Yay. My reputation precedes me. They were even on the play. Ooh, on the draw with the first play being wedding announcement. I guess I'll keep it because I also have a children. Ooh, white storm chaser Drake. Not meta. Fortunate top deck. Mm hmm. What do we think? What do we think? Do they have slip? Let's give it one more turn. Wedding announce first. They're playing on full control. Serious tryharding commencing. Poisoner. Mana up. Could be make disappear. Go for a path. Hmm. That doesn't save it from path yet. Oh, it's dead. Wow. Full control didn't save you. Food token? Food token. Hold. <laughs> Try to force action. What's that do? It's too plus so and lifelike. Not enough yet, though, unless they discard a, a spell here. Hmm. Base power and toughness 5-5. Five, five. How exciting. This would be a tragic end. Well, they have the shore up. Still not a slip. They needed that. Okay. Nothing to double strike on, though. Does that kill it? Never. Oops. All interaction. Wandering Emperor? I might tap this turn. We'll try. Try to get multiple spells out of them. Coming off. This would be a trade. I have got new moves to teach you. Nice. Slip means that there is no trade, but I get to keep my poisoner. Jeez. 
Shieldred. Samurai. Let's see if we can attack our opponent a little bit. They have a lot of life. It's going to take some doing. Connive with Shieldred out is a lot more painful. Hmm. Unblockability coming in hot. Did they top deck that or did they have it the whole time? 14 right now. 15 with the connive for the second shot of damage. Yeah, security bypass. You can't block it. All right, they're going for it now. They need a spell. That's a land. And they scoop. Because they can't quite get there. Close, but no cigar. On the play, good hand. Green, white, huh? Treats! Any treats fans? Virtue of loyalty online. Hmm. Green, black. I've played you before, haven't I? You do Thalia Gitrog shenanigans. You gonna do something about this token? You go for the throat on the token. Yep. All right. In that case, let's run out the poisoner. Try to keep pressure on him. Galissa. Sack that Galissa. Sacrifices must be made. Twenty four seventeen, I'm ahead. Shieldred? Easy. I'm still ahead. But what am I discarding? Skitter. I'm tired of your secrets. Thalia and the Gidrog monster, you say? Poisoner's coming after you, and it's growing. You better do something about it. Another Shelly. Let's kill it. I'm done. Here. Let's keep the aggression. Feels good. One of your friends has to leave. Down to eight. Wedding announcement. Help keep the pressure on, make sure creatures are on the board. Okay. I mean, they have a plan, don't they? What you got? Chumpies? Up to 34. Virtue. And draw. And underdog out of there. I have a 7-6 lifelink. You are top decking. Sheldred's gonna need help. Oh, you got married too. Congrats. This should finish it off. Not enough Sheldred, clearly. Cut down their 
turn one swift spear or make a food. Figure it out from there. Nothing? Nothing. Well, we are drawing the, th the cards we want to play. Foundry. Cookie. Cookie. Have you ever seen Lauren of the Third Path do this work? Taken down cookies. I bet it's her favorite work. That's big. Hmm. Hmm. That works. <laughs> There's one you don't see every day. Keep him on the back foot. And we still have plenty of adventure value to go. Our opponent's passing. Let's do the draw thing. There's like a lizard with flash. There's the foundry. They want to power up that foundry? One way to find out. I mean, it's like stone raining yourself, isn't it? Yeah. I'm good. And do something with that mana? Oh, indestructible. Okay. Well, that's helpful. The hexproofness is a little necessary there. Because I was going to just poison. Alright. Well. I'll do the, the poison anyway. And then we'll... Virtue of Loyalty again. And they're still under a lot of pressure. The Bloom? Good against the enchantments. We gotta be careful when we play them. They're definitely feeling a little shaky. They're afraid. What is going on with their deck? This mono green unique aggro? There is life from the poisoner. But they have they run Tyvar's stand, so I'm worried my poisoner won't do what I want it to do. So let's attack first. Make them feel the aggression. Yeah, there's the stand. Had a feeling. All right, if we play the virtue, they blow it up. Not what we're looking to do. Food token. New poisoner. Fortress. I think that we can force them to trade before we play a virtue. Mess with their canker bloom. At least that's the plan. They're getting close to Titans and Nissas and such, though. Whoa. Really? Really? Oh, we're fighting. Okay. Mono green, full of removal spells and combat tricks. Okay. Sure. Seriously, though? Like, this is who we are? Uh... Right. Well... How about this? The boogeyman of the format coming to plague Mono Green. What do they ever do about it? And they know they have to hang on to that canker bloom or the virtues will get them. Here's Liliana. 
discard that card. I bet it's another trick. Osage. Drop it. Hmm. Yeah. You're at nine? If they keep the cookie, they can attack and kill the Liliana. I think I make them do that. If they sacrifice the cookie for life, they can't attack with it. Ooh. I don't know about that opponent. I don't know about that one. I, I expected them to throw their creatures at Liliana. If they threw the Canker Bloom, block, kill it, make way for the Virtue. And yeah, they're going to bail. They done. Has anybody seen some Beseech the Mirrors? Asking for a friend, of course. Pretty high rank, DW. Probably mono red. This hand's okay. Yep. Keep being right all the time. The chick. I'm worried about removal. Let's get it ticking. Get the clock ticking. God, I hate that card. Get it? God, Godric. Okay. Down to 11. Lily. Lily, Lily, Lily. Uh, yeah. I guess I'll take something off the board. And then make food. Happy to help, but I'm... Oh, sacrifices must be made. So Kinzan, I mean, it gets you the 4-4. That's what's important, right? Ignore Lily. Ignore Lily. Hopefully we can punish that eventually. Down to five. Please draw the land. Thank you. I needed that in my life so much. The Poisoner Poisoning. I'm tired of your Lord secrets. Skitter, sorry. It's not your day. Maybe it should have been. <laughs> they want to trade with the knight? Sure opens the way for the rest of the creatures. I guess if they're getting back Squee, I really don't mind. All right. Lightning Strike, Lightning Strike, Chick. They can close here. But that's not what they have. You have to get rid of the Poisoner, right? Don't think a right? fancy dress means I didn't come here to fight. You're gonna regret Let's bring things up to a simmer. There's their lightning strike. Okay, let's go, baby. It's our time. The end? And I'm at six? Wait. Is it worth it? Yeah, it is. Their hand is another Chandra. Bye. Drop it. We're gonna bring out Squee. We want Squee to run into a wall, right? So this is the play. You're really cramping my style. 
Exile, it is the Swifty. So I'm a little hot headed. Can they so cast it all? You damn right they can do it all. They're mono red. They've always done it all. Scoop it up. We're gonna eat this food, and I guess the opponent can't bear to think about what comes after. Well, Beseech the Mirror is in our deck. Confirmed. What are you up to? Fairies. Fairies. This hand is probably not great against fairies. We'll see. Ooh, really? Oh, all right. Adventure time. Beseech. I would have thought they'd just counter that. Two for one me. What do I know about Magic the Gathering? Well, we don't want to kill the Dream Thief. We want to kill the Sleep Cursed. Really? I guess. I mean, they get to draw a card because I did that. I don't love it, but... Here's my lands. Do you like them? Interesting. All right, the beatdowns commence, but they've only got two cards. I mean, if you want to erase my lifelinker, I'm cool. We're cool. We can do this. And ego drained me twice. Two, two. I guess they have some counter spells burning a hole in their pocket. There's one of them. another one. Oh wait, that's not a counterspell. That's a bad fairy. Play that right into the caves. Okay. Uh-huh. Resolves? Interesting. Mastermind? Sure. Gumdrop Poisoner is pretty expendable. <laughs> Not that worried about it. Shildred, on the other hand. Top deck? How oh, good are you? You're sleepy. I understand. Stupid ward on that card, but your time is running out. You might want to untap this one. Can't help him. Found the line. Top deck removal. Can you do it again? <laughs> Wait, what do you... I guess, yeah, you will untap, right? It's a plus two. But I still have to pay that toxic ward. All right. And there's your double block. 
as they hope for the best, but one hit from a poisoner, as, as it should be, and it's over. What you got? Dream Thief? Get your surveil on. Basically, this reveals lethal. So does this. I guess they could draw into it, right? You're not gonna exile it? See if you top deck the nuts? Okay. That's the win. Fairies, come on. And we are back for a post-game wrap up. A post-game wrap you may hear a few times if you are a regular viewer of the show. And I, you know, hope that you are. And, you know, if this is your first time hearing it, here's information about me, about CGB. I am traveling to MagicCon Las Vegas, but unlike other MagicCons I've traveled to this year, all of the ones I've traveled to this year, I'm actually working at this show. I have a job. I am hosting Game Nights Live, which honestly is like one of the coolest roles I've ever been offered. And if you're new to Magic or you only focus on Arena, you may not have heard of the Command Zone and Game Nights and Game Nights Live, but you should check it out. They have a YouTube channel. So this, what does this mean? It means I have to be in Vegas for a long time this week for rehearsals because they are pros. This is a serious production. This is a big deal. So with that in mind, I have to record a whole bunch of videos in a very small window. So if the videos are shorter than you remember, this is the reason why. If the videos don't have a specify a special outro where I talk about the stats, this is the reason why. It's a real challenge that I don't think most people ever have to understand to both uh, find decks and then play decks and then make footage with decks for like 10 consecutive days upcoming within the span of a couple of days, which is the situation I'm in. So if the decks are net decked in some situations or in more than normal, or they don't seem like the typical CGB deck, that is also because of the schedule I'm trying to keep. And I do appreciate your patience. I take having an audience very seriously. I appreciate you a great deal. I love that you tune in all the time. I love that you have an expectation of me, you know, that that becomes heavy. And I feel it in the comments when people are like, this is not the usual CGB deck or he looks tired today or things like that. Yeah. Yeah, I know, because sometimes if I'm traveling, I have to record up to 10 hours of video in a single day to try to cover some of that space. So thank you to those who are patient. I don't, the comments get in my head. I know it comes from a place of love. It's really not helpful to leave such comments, but at least for those of you who watch till the end, you have an answer, which maybe you can uh, go back and let people know who do leave those comments and then just leave that this isn't my usual thing. I try to give you about a lunch break's worth of content every single day if I can, and that is what I plan to do when I get back from Vegas. For those of you attending MagicCon Las Vegas, I will be doing Game Nights Live on Friday. Please come out to the show. I will put on the very best show that I can as a commentator for the Game Nights Live Championship. And if you're there on Saturday, I plan to do meet and beats at 2 p.m. local time at the Ultimate Guard booth. And what that is, you don't need to have a deck or anything. If you ever wanted to play against me, they have decks on hand. They're like all-star decks from standard past you can sit down and play a little best of one against the one in best of one at 2 p.m at the ultimate guard booth on saturday at least that's the plan right now as i know it and then the last thing is on sunday you can find me at the game nights booth at 4 p.m to 5 p.m shutting the place down the last signing of the weekend so i would really appreciate it if you come by and get your shark token signed i even signed jenga taxes i even signed mountains i signed fervent champions Honestly, I get asked all the time, would you sign a Cranko? Up, oh, guys, it's your cards. And I know I wouldn't be here without you. And that is why when I'm at these events, it really is like, I'll do my best to meet you. Now, the other thing I get asked all the time is, can we play a game of Commander? I don't know. It's really hard for me to get time to play Commander. And often I get asked, hey, CGB, CGB, please come play with us. And I'm like, I can't, I'm going to thing. It's my only chance of the whole weekend to get in the merch line. You know, stuff like that comes up. So I can't promise you a game of Commander, but uh, I'll do my best. And if you see me, say hi. Uh, let me know you watch the show. It means a lot to me, of course. It's the, the best part of what I do, honestly, is meeting so many people at these things this year. I've only got two more appearances this year. One, MagicCon Vegas. 
to oh, almost use the wrong finger cool stuff inc in command fest orlando and that is the in coming up in october you've seen some ads for it here on the channel so hopefully i'll get to see you guys there and if i'm not coming haven't come to your country yet as always next year anyway this intro outro this outro thing is going to be used a number of times to help explain to people what's up with the videos because people always leave me a bunch of comments while i'm gone with things like this didn't feel like a usual cgb video or why isn't it long enough or why is it a net deck or why does he look tired that's why because i'm putting in the work to make sure that every day you guys get a little something to get you through your day until i'm back in the office and in the meantime, off to do some exciting things. Thank you for watching this video. As always, I'll see you in the next video. And don't accuse me of not remembering to say it. I am putting this in every video for a reason so that you hear your daily dose of, you're cool. <laughs>